Oh, yeah. So guys, welcome to this video for Armor World. This is just a bit of a quick one, um, as I don't have too much video footage for this. This is covering the Windsor Carrier. This was built by Ford in Canada between 1944 and 1945. Um, this particular vehicle is owned by myself and my dad. Um, my dad acquired this vehicle as scrap from Pound Scrapyard in Portsmouth um, in the late 1980s. Uh, it was completely unrestored when, when it arrived at our house and over the next seven years was restored back to fully working uh, order. The Windsor Carrier itself is quite a rare machine as only 5,000 were built between that date of 44 and 45. Um, it was designed to tow trailers, it was designed to be a bit of a recovery vehicle, it could tow trucks as well, uh, but it was also designed to tow anti-tank guns and by this stage in the war the gun that it was designed to tow, which was a six pounder anti-tank gun, was just a little bit obsolete and also we had tank guns not by that stage of the war that were capable or more capable in many many respects than the six pounder anti-tank gun itself. The vehicle is a light vehicle and uh, I'm sure in certain cases it was used for like reconnaissance or towing of ammunition, anything like that really, any of those general purpose jobs that a nice little off-road vehicle would be suitable for. Uh, it's fully tracked as you can see. Compared to other Bren gun carriers of the time, this was one of the longest ones in the wheelbase. Um, if, you're, if you're familiar with the looks of a universal uh, Bren gun carrier, you'll see that it would only have three road wheels, whereas the Windsor carrier has four. Now it's got more commonality with the Lloyd carrier, which is another Canadian design, and most of the parts came from the Lloyd itself. It's powered by a 96 horsepower V8 engine. Uh, this is a flathead V8 engine developing 96 horsepower, as I said, um, with a crew of about three to four men. Um, it also has room for a radio operator. We also have the driver and the commander, which would also act as the, the machine gunner, the defensive machine gunner. The vehicle itself is just over 14 foot in length and probably about 7.5 foot wide, if I can remember properly. Uh, top road speed is about 35 miles an hour. We have actually had ours roughly around the 28 to 29 miles per hour mark on the road and uh, sitting in the driving position at that speed with your rear end about six inches off the ground is quite a terrifying little experience. Very good suspension when it works, a nice and smooth ride over rough ground and does have a tendency to bounce when it hits something a little bit bigger. These vehicles when they were built in Canada were mostly shipped uh, overseas to serve with the British and Commonwealth for forces, um, mostly to replace uh, mechanical and combat losses during the war. So this vehicle didn't really see much active service during the Second World War, um, but went on after the war to have many different purposes with uh, military training and anything like that, and subsequently scrapped, I believe, around the early to mid-1950s, possibly even up to the 60s. Some of them were still in service. So nowadays it is quite a rare vehicle. I believe there's maybe four to five of them in the United Kingdom, and unknown amounts in other places, other parts of the world. Um, just a quick little video guys because there wasn't really much footage to take on this one. So uh, thanks very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the sound of that nice little flathead V8 um, and hopefully I'll see you all again soon.